After almost 3 months of waiting, we finally got a pay 3 update. And no, we didn't get offline mode or crime net in this update. But we did get a lot of fixes and changes, and I do mean a lot. There are around 300 fixes, some content, and changes to skills, weapons, overkill difficulty, and more in this update. I'm just going to go over some of the major changes and fixes they made to pay 3 just because there's too much to read in the patch notes and it will take forever to cover everything. But if you're looking for anything particular that they changed or fixed, I'll leave the patch notes linked in the description. And the first thing they bring up are the update highlights and new features. They mentioned things like NVIDIA image scaling, upper scale, NVIDIA DLAA, NVIDIA DLSS super resolution, basically things to make pay 3 look better and DirectX 12. They even said that it shows a significant performance improvement when using DX12, but if you still want to use DX11, you can put it in your launch option. When I mentioned there was some content in, in this update, it's literally just this. It's called Hardcore Cookoff Challenge Reward. There's a new challenge called Kiss the Chef, securing 19 bags of perfectly cooked mess on cookoff on overkill difficulty reward a unique weapon charm and this is the weapon charm it's just a piece of mess but yeah that's like the only content that, I, that i've seen in these patch notes and after six months of waiting we finally got the unready button we made several fixes to ui such as adding sliders as well as the much requested lobby unready function we finally got it Thank you. Claps all around. That's what we needed most. The unready button. Better late than never. We finally got it. They finally added controller dead zone settings. They say additional controller settings allow for a much finer customization of your controller gameplay. So yeah, hopefully there's no more problems with controllers, but it wouldn't surprise me if this still doesn't fix it. They also mentioned that they added rotating security modifiers. It says starting with this patch, we'll be rotating security modifiers on all heights for very hard and overkill difficulty to freshen up the experience. We'll be updating the modifier distribution every two weeks. In the future, expect more stealth modifiers and odd modifiers in the rotation. It is what it is, at least changes something in the game. Another point they mention is called uh, game state consistency. The game will now remember if you've chosen to show or hide the story videos in the high selection even after restarting the game. Lobby type and difficulty will now automatically be set to the same as the previous game. I like this change because I always forget to change the settings. The next box are known issues. They said skill points assignments have been reset on loadouts but will retain your earned skill points. So remember to recreate your builds after updating the game. So I can imagine uh, when they were updating the game, something made it to where all our skill points are reset. I'd rather have this happen than the last problem they had where potentially all our levels could have been reset. It's a pain in the ass that happened, but hey, it could be worse. Also, if you're using DX12 support, they identify an issue that that presents in the previous version of the game. They mentioned here to turn off the instant replay in the NVIDIA settings to prevent this issue while they're working on the fix. Now here come the balance changes. So these are like the skills, the weapons, the equipment, and the enemies. First up is skills, and I'm gonna put, put a picture up of all the skills that were affected. They go over a lot of these. They changed a lot of uh, the skills during the game, and they even gave explanations of what they did to it. And when it comes to the weapon side of things, they balanced two weapons. One of them being the R900 sniper rifle. It can now penetrate shields when paired with the cutting shot skill. Armor pen increased from 1.3 to 2. Damage increased from 0 through 40 meters, 130 to 160, 41 to 60 meters, from 62.5 to 77.61, and 61 through 100 meters, from 41.7 to 51.3. Uh, they also balanced the Moschini 12 shotgun. They reduced hit fire spread and they reduced the pellet spread. And they added two new weapon inspects for both the overkill sniper rifle and the overkill grenade launcher. But I'm pretty sure the grenade launcher inspection might be a little bit broken whenever you reload. So watch out for that. And when it comes to equipment, medic bags now restore one down by default. Increased healing for first aids to 25% from 20. Increased base amount of health gained from medic bags to 50% from 35. Lowered the armor repair interaction to 0.5 seconds from one second. Tweaked the region time for standard lining armor to three seconds from four. Damn, the medic bags got a big buff. And last up is the enemies part of the balance changes. And the first point here says on overkill difficulty, enemy intensity will now update mid wave instead of between the salt waves. This is how we had waves updated originally in the game. It was changed during development for several reasons. We brought it back for overkill difficulty only to address the issues manipulating escalation triggers to bypass more difficult enemies. I'll be lying if I didn't say I didn't exploit it for a bit. This overkill change is going to be annoying since I have to do the 
weapon charm challenge for the cook-off heist. That challenge is going to be way more possible now, especially with this overkill change. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of other fixes and stuff they made. Most of these fixes are to the techie enemy. She had an armor repair kit on death, and not only that, she also has a different uh, spawn right now. Yeah, a lot of these other parts when it comes to the patch notes is just UI changes, audio changes, visual changes. They also have a part where they fix a bunch of heists, and it's like, I'm pretty sure every heist is listed on here. They fixed all the problems they have for each heist. But one thing I did notice, they made it to where you can use ECMs to pause the die packs for the money in order to book it. So you basically could do it solo if you run the ECM. So just want to point that out. So that's some of the things I wanted to point out in the patch notes. For the most part, this update was basically them fixing the game with some changes alongside with it. This update is not worth going back for pay 3 at the moment, to be honest. I'm just going to go back to get the cook-off weapon charm and then hop off to the next update. I hope future updates add more content to the game besides just a weapon charm. And the next pay 3 update should be in 4 or 6 weeks or 3 months again. Who knows at this point. Leave a comment below how you feel about this update and are you going to go get the cook-off weapon charm. I hope you enjoyed the Supermarket Simulator gameplay. I'm going to go back to working my 9 to 5 job. And if you liked the video, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Later.